One last thing. We'll, do, we'll finish it up right here. Okay, guy has the closed guard. You stand up. He goes knee bar. Go. He's holding my leg tight. Keep going. Finish. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Sash. Bye, Sash. Good luck, buddy. Got it, Sash. Megan. Megan, 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 Megan's gonna video today. Come on, Megan. I'm just gonna breathe really loud and squeeze onto. Oops, shit. Megan, try okay, not to okay. make too much noise. Don't breathe too much. Megan, stop. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Teach me grappling. What's up, everybody? We've got Mike right here. He's knee bar Mike. He's also known as Scissor Sweep Mike lately. What's up, YouTube? And uh, we're going to show you guys a little knee bar defense against knee bar Mike here. Um, I was going with the guys today. We were doing some standing guard passes. And then the subject came up, and I thought this would be a great lesson for you. Very simple, very good idea for you guys to learn. Um, not everybody knows this, but let's show the knee bar. Okay, guys, real quick. If a guy stands, it's common that you get in a closed guard, and then if somebody stands up, he'll underhook your leg. And then if you try to posture to open, he'll drop his knee inside. And then he'll wrap his other leg around. He could kick you in the back. He could kick you in the butt. So he could also kind of kick you in the butt. And then as you drop down, you're caught in a leg lock. You know, through this movement, while you're being, go ahead. You can kind of attack me just to show me. I might go here. He may transfer. Either he leave his knee here, he may transfer it through and, and move it through. At some point, you kind of get tapped with the knee bar. So it's a great attack. Again, watching guys, if there's a big hole, he can literally retract his whole leg and put it through like that. And you see how he climbs up and you're getting knee bar. So it's a, it's a good attack. You guys need to know this attack if you don't know this. Um, some schools are like kind of frown upon leg locks. If you guys are a, uh, a white belt or a blue belt or a purple belt, knee bars in competition are usually not allowed. Um, unless you're doing like maybe no gi, sometimes they allow it a little earlier, depending on your tournament. Um, but knee bars, you guys gotta know this stuff, okay? So if I'm here and I stand and the guy hooks my leg, the first thing I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna bend my knee and I'm gonna close my thigh. If you notice his knee, his knee wants to drop inside that hole. And then his shin bone is a frame. His shin bone frames away my inner thigh. And now he can start to either bring it through or swing it around. So he could swing it around or he could bring it through. See that? Like that. And then, and then boom. Okay. So I don't want this position to happen. I still might be okay in this position. I still might be. But I want to teach you guys first to stop it. So once I'm here and the guy starts to, to open, I, I shift weight by pushing off my, my broken toe <laughs> and, I, and I, I put weight with my knee on his chest. So you see how I'm closing my inner thigh, I'm putting weight, I'm shifting weight so that his knee can't drop inside, okay? Now, once I'm here, you might see like, oh, watch out for the arm bar. Like you don't wanna get arm bar right there either. So while I'm putting some weight on him like this, I'm gonna go ahead, I can posture a little bit and throw my chest forward. That way I can control this ankle. See that? So I control it. I give it to my right hand and I grab it like this. Okay, right here. Not like this. With my elbow out, it's gonna be hard to control. I'm gonna control it like this. He still has my leg. I'm gonna have my knee on my chest, on, on his chest. And then watch where my right foot is. It's just like knee on belly. So if she's going around here, to take a look, I don't have my foot here because I could fall backward. Like if you just kind of make me fall that way. Yeah, see how I fall towards my butt? So I'm just gonna 
pivot backward like this, and that gives me balance. And now I'm squashing my butt down, keeping my balance with my weight here. Now, once you do that, it looks like I'm past the guard for the most part, but you're gonna contend with the next problem, which is that leg could swing all the way around and start creating the attack again. And if he throws your weight forward, boom, you're back into the position and you get, you get caught. So let's catch up again. So I'm here, he starts to go. I don't want that knee to drop in. You notice the knee dropped in? If I can stop the knee from dropping in, I'm much better, okay? I get the ankle here, my knee is on his chest. That leg's coming around, look at my elbows in. It comes right into my hand as he tries to do this. I'm pushing his legs and I'm keeping him stacked. I don't want him comfortable. I don't want him like this on his side, okay? I'm gonna bring his legs up like this. As I guide them this way, I'm gonna graduate from my hands on the ankles to the hands on the thighs. One, two. I push his legs like this, straightening out my elbows. So try to move, see? And now I have, like basically like knee on belly, but it's knee on chest, and I've got good balance. Next, I wanna to try to drop down. He may be pushing with his arm, I don't know. Like, yeah, he's gonna be doing, doing stuff like this. We're gonna to try to step and sprawl and drop our chest down, and now we can get our control. Notice my right hand coming into the doorstop position. My left hand looking for head control. Here's a little great popper position, and we're good to go. Obviously, if he turned on his side, I would make my move and spin and get into a better position on top. Passing that guard. So you guys get into the close guard. I want to open it, so I start standing, and then I notice he's going for the knee bar. Again, notice the knee. Now, what if the knee does beat us? We still okay, but it's getting a little crazier. So even if the knee drops in, I can still drop. Notice this foot in my armpit. I want to bring that off my armpit so he's not kicking me. Kick. Yeah, he raises me up. He's going to start to attack. So once you're right here, I bring that off. Now kick me up. See, I like control this leg, and now my left hand's inside. I'm ready to go. Can I go straight to the thigh? Yes, you can. Go straight to the thigh. I would say go to the ankle if you feel like it's going to pass like all the way over. See, his leg's going to pass over. I go to the ankle. Push it, go to the thighs. Once I'm here at the thighs, I'm gonna start maneuvering. Now, I did have one of my students today, he was pinching this so hard that the other student could not sprawl. He couldn't get the knee off the chest. The other guy was keeping it here and he couldn't move it, so I talked about angles. Watch how I take my leg. I, I try to kind of kick it like a donkey, kicking it straight back, like a sprawl, so I bring it to the side. I can either bring it this way, where it becomes sort of like a bicep lock, as I'm dropping my hip down, see how I drop my hip down? He could be holding on tight. And now I'm gonna kick my leg through and sprawl. Or I could also, if I'm trying to kick my leg and he's really strong, and remember, he's gonna be bringing his legs in as best he can. So when you're here, I could go this way and step over his head. Try not to kick your partner in the head, but when I'm here and he's really strong, he won't let me move my leg. I fake one way, step the other, as I drop down, now look, I lost my balance right now, no big deal. He's still gonna be trying to work and I'm gonna try to collect his legs together. Okay, so now try to move a little bit, Mike, so we can see it. I'm gonna control these legs and then I'm gonna get myself back into the cross face and get back to, to, to better, better balance. See, lost my balance right there. Okay, so here, close guard. I go here, he goes to the knee bar, I'm closing my knee in. See that? Even the armbar right here, if the guy tries to go armbar, I have good posture. See, I'm not allowing it. I'm stacking the guy, but I've got to get myself on this side of the legs. So if, even if I had you in a stack right here, maybe I'm going to try leg drag and pass this way. We're just trying to like create your attack, go create your attack. See that? I'm going to try to maneuver this side, push the legs away, drop myself down, and sprawl my leg. Okay, and get that leg away. This is fine right here. You know, you, you might even enjoy this because you'll go, oh, I've got a crucifix now, you know. In the fight, you've got his arm trapped and then you guys can drop some punishment. So, um, this is really important, guys. And, and don't gloss over it. There's a really, really important balance you have to create. That, that it's not just simply, you know, grab his ankles or like get on that side and pass the guard. It's not that simple. It's really about your balance. Watch how I pivot. So go to the knee bar, go. Keep on. Look at my balance right here. Keep moving me. Good. Drop your knee down, keep going. 
Trying to get the control. And nice. Right there. One last time. We'll, do, we'll finish it up right here. Okay, guy has the close guard. So you stand up. He goes knee bar. Go. He's holding my leg tight. Keep going. Finish. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hey, I didn't want it to be a rear naked. Help. No rear naked on this one. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'm, dude, I'm moving around a lot. Yeah. With this are. toe, I probably shouldn't be. Making you want to get the toe one more time before it, it's no longer purple. Okay. Uh, Why am I doing this? Because you're trying to add time to the video no <laughs> <laughs> shut up that extra add -in. all right guys thank you guys so much teach me grappling click the link down below if you like this video subscribe alarm bells on click the paypal or the patreon link and contribute to this channel thank all of you guys that already do we have such a good community right now everybody's helping so much and um, i really appreciate you guys see you guys next time with more later have a good weekend. Thank you, Mike. Megan, you did all right. You did all right. Yeah. Okay, we'll see you later then.